Now he's a legend in Minnesota, and he's received many honors throughout the years, including being inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame. And today, Coach Bud Grant was honored at the Minnesota History Center. Rob Olson joins us live from St. Paul. Rob, the coach was there as his portrait was revealed. Yeah, and he was there for many sessions as it was created, too. That portrait given to the Minnesota Historical Society to be put on display at the History Center at a date to be determined. As interesting as the portrait is, what's far more interesting is the backstory on how it was created. Sometimes I'm, I, I don't realize how old I am. I, I, I'm starting to look older when I look in the mirror every day. At 94, Bud Grant is as humble as ever. No ego from the man who, if Minnesota had a Mount Rushmore of sports, he'd be the president Washington. I think I was in Europe at the time and I was having a conversation. So when Mark Balma, a Minnesotan who's painted four presidential portraits and three prime ministers, was asked who was at the top of his wish list, his mind went back to those Sunday afternoons of his youth. The person that came to mind right away was Bud Grant. I thought of him as a statesman of the, of the sports field. And since I had done all these official portraits, it seemed like, yeah, he, he had that kind of quality. And so it became that at Bud's old office at Winter Park, the two sat 12 separate times as Mark painstakingly captured Bud Grant on canvas. And a perfectionist, by the way. So when he says we sit, yeah, I'd go back to Mark, what do we do? What, we, what didn't we do last time? Well, your eyebrow, you know, you got to. So, you know, that's what makes a great artist, I'm sure. And through their conversations about Super Bowls and about hunting and about painting, he found the essence of Bud. And I tried to represent him in, a, in, in this pose that he does when he's thinking and he's thoughtful. I'm more of a thinker than a talker. And I, I don't always express myself verbally or written, but I'm thinking a lot. Though the portrait was finished three years ago, it didn't have a home until now, finally presented to the Minnesota Historical Society to be put on display. It's hard to express just exactly what it does mean to an old man. And Bud, with his family looking on, did share what he was thinking, that what an honor this is. You've made an old man very happy. Thank you very much. No, uh, Mark, the painter says that Bud was very patient through those uh, portrait sessions, far more so than some of the presidents that he's painted. Bud told me that uh, he wishes that they would make some prints of this portrait. He says he's got plenty of pictures of himself, but figures his kids and grandkids, they might like to have a copy for themselves. So we'll see if he can make that happen. Live in St. Paul, Robles, Fox 9. That's absolutely beautiful. Thanks, Rob.